All right, hey, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Raka Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samoan Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call God, one that we call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means he to be or he is. Bahashim means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. When start off by giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai once again. Brak the Yahweh. Brak the Yahweh Shai. Brak the Yahweh. Brak the Yahweh Shai. And the Wadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The body y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai for this opportunity, this 100% truth. The body y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders and all you beloved brethren out there pushing knowledge and sincerity and truth. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. So we're going to start it off with Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire so pretty much what you're witnessing is the escalation of force with, which is going to lead into world war three the building up of troops in the valley of jehoshaphat the valley of Je of decision armageddon over there in the middle east all right so the icing on the cake which which was going to which is going to take place in our lifetime in our time frame, which is going to lead to a nuclear war between these nuclear countries. Okay, that's what it means. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay. As the world watches wars being fought in both Europe and the Middle East, this morning a new push by the Department of Defense to upgrade its nuclear weapons. Military leaders recently announcing they will pursue production of the B-6113 nuclear gravity bomb, a weapon 24 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, Japan during World War II. One defense leader writing in a statement that the need for the new nuclear weapon, quote, is reflective of a changing security environment and growing threats from potential adversaries. This is as serious a topic as we will hear about this year. Earlier this month on Capitol Hill, the Senate Armed Services Committee focused on the country's nuclear strategy. Leaders from both sides noted ongoing threats from enemies like Russia, which recently de-ratified a nuclear test ban treaty, as well as North Korea, which continues to conduct numerous weapons tests. To prevent war and keep the peace, it is incumbent on legislators to commit today to a program of sustained innovation and investment. This is the only way we can reclaim lost ground. This mission has become more urgent through Russia's assault on Ukraine and because of China's rapid strategic expansion. Here in the U.S., just two weeks ago, the National Nuclear Security Administration announced a team conducted an underground chemical explosion at a test site in Nevada, aimed at improving America's ability to detect nuclear explosions around the world. Now, with a call to upgrade the U.S.'s own weapons, some lawmakers want to see the country be prepared. It is time to begin making the national defense investments required to deter the conflicts looming ahead. The Department of Defense adds that this a new nuclear weapon will give the president the option against a certain harder and large area enemy targets while also uh, discouraging enemies from possibly targeting the United States. God. Which is not going to be discouraged. Yahweh, Yahweh, shy. All right, pretty much. 
put it in the minds of these uh of these Edomites to create these uh these bombs, these nuclear bombs, um hydrogen bombs, those uh atomic bombs, which today is, is way more advanced nuclear bombs. Because the most size said, Behold, I created the Smith. Alright. Isaiah 44 and 12. I'm sorry. Blow with the coals. Oh, let me find it real, real quick. Isaiah 54 and 16. Salakia. Isaiah chapter 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the Smith that blow with the coals in the fire. So the modern day Smith are these nuclear scientists, which you could go into the information of Operation Paperclip. What happened after World War II, the disbandment of Germany and those um, high ranking um, intelligent officers, um, nuclear physicists, so on and so forth, to where um, a deal was made between United States and the Russians, pretty much United States took some of those German scientists and they incorporated themselves into United States military and the rest went to Russia. All right, so during that time frame, United States pretty much adopted the ways from from um from Nazi Germany and used those different types of um engineering and, and made their their um pretty much military might even stronger. Okay, because if you go into World War II, the Germans engineer was very advanced against the other nations that they were fighting against. All right, especially their tanks. You can look up this information on your own. Okay, they were fighting machines. So these nuclear scientists throughout the years have been building bombs in Russia, um, China, uh, America, of course. And been selling information one to another. So behold, I have created the Smith. This is all Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And blow with the coals and the fire. And bring it forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the wasted to destroy. The wasted to destroy, meaning these, these missiles, these bombs will be shot off. That's the waster to destroy. Those, those nuclear um, warheads, which is connected to a rocket propelled system, which can be shot from one continent to another continent to the different parts of the world. This is of a higher power. That's why we, we, we um, vehemently push the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, tell you to fear Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So going back to um, what other scripture um, had in mind, the slain of the Lord shall be many, slain of the Lord, All right? This Isaiah sixty six. Yep, Isaiah sixty six and fifteen. For behold. The Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. So not only those nuclear bombs will be shot off from America, from Russia, from China, and different countries that have those bombs, but you have to, you people will have to deal with Yahweh Shai and the angelic forces with their weaponry, dealing with those laser beams that's that's gonna be shot out of them ships. All right. It says, and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay? So Yahweh Shani and the angelic forces will be shooting their laser beams upon these nations' armies. And the nukes going to hit right after they leave. That's overkill. And that's justified. Through the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay. For by fire and by his sword. Would the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's that's the that's the final judgment. 
in the main place of this type of um <laughs> judgment is going to be taking place right here in the United States of America. All right? That that's where the, the majority of the nukes that the other country have will be shot at. USA. All right? The land of unwalled villages. Burn as an oven. Okay, the day's coming that's gonna burn as a oven. And all the proud was in Micah. Burn as I think it's Micah three and one, Micah four. Okay. Final admonition. For behold the day, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. What can cause something to, 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 to oh man, those those nuclear bombs and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Say Yahweh by Shimiawasha, the Lord of hosts. And that they shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, your whole molecular structure, this this body will get you. You're gonna be burnt alive, man. Okay. But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall and that's dealing with the elect that's dealing with the elect those that fear the name of the most high and he shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that i shall do this said the lord of hosts so this is how the most high is going to deal with the wicked them bombs, the angelic forces, the brothers having spiritual power, man. So everything that's going on right now, as thing escalates, is according to biblical prophecy, man. And this this is what we're here to tell you. So it's going to more stubble. All right. I think it's in Zephaniah. Where is it at? We go into the word holes. Zechariah 14 and 12. Yep. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What can cause your flesh? All right, you got we got flesh on them to consume away those nuclear bombs, man. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Your eyeballs, it's gonna melt right in your face, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. See, it, man, you're gonna get melted. All right. So that's pretty much it, man. So, hey, man, final judgment is on his way. And our, all right, and 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 Yahweh by Shai, it's gonna be greatly is is greatly to be feared. Shalom.